Well, hello again. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be looking at the Spin Master Batwing from the Batman movie and Batman action figure from Batman Returns. This is part of Spin Master's way of celebrating 85 years of the Batman. So you're looking at the front of the box here. We got the Batwing on the one side and Batman on the other. Top of the box, Batman movie collection, Batwing. The left side has Batman and the Batwing again, while the right side has the logo for the first and second Batman movies. While the back has a whole bunch of gobbledygook that no one really cares about as well as another image of the Batwing, the Batman figure and the cockpit raised up. And for the bottom, just in case you were wondering, it just shows, hey, this is how you assemble the Batwing. Cool beans. Now, let's get it out of the box. You gotta cut the tape, pop it open, pull out the insides. Ooh, look at all this. Let's release it, shall we? So there's the body. I'm assuming that this is the figure. Here's some tissue paper in case you want to blow your nose. And we have wing number one and wing number two. And everything else is just recycling. Okay, so let's pop the wings on. Wing number one and wing number two. Ta-da! Let's open up its rear landing gear and also its front one so that we can place it in view of the camera. There's also that thing about the Batman figure that is still in the paper baggie. Let's get him out too. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. That's actually quite nice. Okay, let's focus on the figure for a second and then come back to the Batwing. So because this guy's all black, I've had to turn up the bright a little bit more just so that you can see some of the details on him. This is clearly the Batman return suit. They've done a very good job sculpting the abs area and the chest for this Batman figure as well as his utility belt. Same thing with his boots and his gauntlets. Although I do think he's missing some details there. One way I wish this Batman was a little bit different is the cape is so nothing. <laughs> It's just a ribbon. I really wish that the cape kind of started over here somehow and then hung down over the shoulders or there was just somehow more of it rather than this little strip with a hole in his back. This is a teeny tiny head sculpt so it's going to be challenging to get a good close-up look. This is about as close as I can get but that's actually not bad. When you look underneath that mask there at the bottom portion of the face, it actually does bear a resemblance to Michael Keaton, and the mask actually does more or less look like it does in the movie, albeit the bat ears are a little bit big and thick, which is what you'd expect from a kid's action figure. Articulated in the groin, little ball joints there, he's got a thigh cut, take note McFarlane, he's got a single jointed swivelly knee, He's got nothing in the ankles there. He's got single jointed elbows and arms that go up well above 90 degrees. The single jointed elbows actually rotate back and forth as well. And he's got his head, which is, is it on a regular peg or is it on a ball peg? I can't tell. I've pulled on it and yanked on it. I think it's just on a regular neck peg. I can't tell. I don't think it's on a ball peg. If it is, it's not really ball pegging. It's not doing its job very well. So I'm going to say it's on a regular neck peg. A very cool little figure, and I think I should compare him to... Here we have the Mattel DC Multiverse Keaton Batman, based on the first Batman movie. And here we have a Batman figure from the old Dark Knight collection. Let's just back off a little bit so you can get a bit more of a view here. So there you can see there there it's a very small figure as we're used to with Spin Master. I'm just going to pull this one out and I'm going to put in the classic Toy Biz Batman. Oh, ooh, this one is so classic. I love this figure so much. I really do wish that Spin Master had done something a little bit more like this, having a separate piece and then tucking the cape up underneath to get that look to have Batman's cape you know, draped over his shoulders. I feel like that would have been something even cooler. And now back to the Batwing, what I would consider the the extra value piece of this box, because I paid 26 bucks Canadian for this, and I got not only a cool Batman figure, but I got the Batwing. How cool is that? 
You've got the lights in the front here. You've got his guns. You've got his missiles down the back there. Now, one detail it is missing is the cutter. He does not have the cutter in the front. But again, for 26 bucks, for something that is this movie accurate, I can't complain. This is fantastic. I would say that this is probably the best small scale action figure Batwing I've seen in my entire life. And I've seen them right since the beginning. And I think that this is just fantastic looking. I love all of the detail on this that they've included. I love these fins. I, I love the look of the Batwing to begin with, but I especially love the Batwing right now that I'm looking at because, again, I can't stress it enough. I only paid 26 bucks for this, Canadian, and that is so, so cheap for something that clearly they, they put a lot of love and they put a lot of effort into making something that would be fan service, something that would make the fans happy. I don't think that this is necessarily just for kids. I feel like they know full well that grown-ups were going to want to buy this. Looking underneath, there's not a lot of detail. But you'd expect that from a kid's toy. All the detail, for the most part, is on the top. And it just looks so good for, again, for what it is. I want to open up the cockpit and have a look on the inside. Let's do that. Let's uh, open up the cockpit and have a look. They've got the front of the cockpit with all of its gauges and gadgets and stuff like that. If you look inside here, you can see all the stuff back to Batman's left and right. The single seat. Let's actually put Batman on the inside of this Batwing. And for as much as I would have liked to see more cape, it makes sense that there was only this little strip. It's because you have to put the Batman in the Batwing and not have the cape get all stuck. And remember, this is primarily a child's toy. Yes, they know collectors are buying it. They have collectors in mind, but it's also primarily a child's toy. And Batman seems to fit okay. We won't know until we try to close the cockpit. Yep, Batman fits just fine. Sits right in there. And he looks to be properly in scale as he was in the movie. Now I must apologize because I'm going to compare the Batwing to the Spin Master RC Batmobile. <laughs> there's, so, there's not really enough room in my recording area to adequately display these two, to show these two. Uh, yeah, it's, it's challenging. It's tight to fit all these in here like this, but yeah, here it is in comparison to the RC Spin Master Batmobile. What a beautiful piece, too. They sent this to me a long time ago, and I never had the chance to review it. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Lights, sound, spits out smoke out of the tailpipe here. Beautiful, beautiful piece by Spin Master. Love this so much. One of my favorite Batman pieces, and probably one of my favorite Batmobiles, too. Anyway, that is my review of the Spin Master Batwing. I think it is fantastic. If you see this on the store shelves, do not hesitate to grab this and toss it in your cart because if you don't, I promise you, another child or probably collector is gonna get there before you and they are going to take it home with them. Anyway, that's all for me today, so have yourself a super awesome DC day and take care. Bye bye.